Hello everybody and welcome to the Big Bugs YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to pin and spread the wings of butterflies and moths. There's no real difference between pinning a butterfly versus pinning a moth, except that the moths will shed a little bit of fur and can be a bit more delicate. I have three examples for you. A large morpho butterfly, a medium sunset moth, and a small monarch which I will pin verso. The first and most important step in pinning and mounting butterflies is rehydrating or relaxing your specimens. If you don't do that step first, the specimens will be too dry to work with and they will break. We have a video up on our channel explaining how to do just that, so watch that video first if you haven't done it already. Next, we have to put the insect on the pin. Grab the insect by its body and gently squeeze until the wings start to unfold just slightly. This means the butterfly is relaxed enough for us to work with. You can also gently pull the fore wings forward and the hind wings backward to slightly loosen the joints. This will make spreading the wings a little easier. Using forceps or gently blowing the wings open will make it easier to insert the pin between the closed wings. Ideally, you want to insert the pin so that it is perpendicular to the body of the insect, like in this drawing where the blue line represents the pin. Once the pin is through the body, pin the insect onto your spreading board. Ideally, you want the smallest possible gap on your spreading board so that the insect's body is held tightly in place. Now we can start spreading the wings. Using these glass plates, lay them on top of the wings from the inside out so they're pressed flat. It's okay if the wings don't lay how we want them to just yet because we're going to fix that. Using a pin and working one wing at a time, start to nudge the wings into the position that you want. A good rule of thumb is to get the bottom of the four wings to form a right angle with the body, like in this drawing. Then adjust the hind wings as needed. You can lift the glass slightly at an angle as needed in order to move the wings. You can also position the antenna if you like by using a couple pins to cross pin them into place. It's important to note that you should be nudging the wings at their strongest point. For most winged insects, this is going to be the topmost vein of their wings. If you look closely, you can see where the veins are within the wings, and these are going to be the best places to use your pin to move the wing. The picture here shows which veins are the strongest to use as leverage points. Veins are different from species to species, so if you're a beginner, I recommend doing a little bit of research on vein placement in butterfly and moth wings before beginning. For the sunset moth here, the process is basically the same, except that this specimen is a little more delicate, so I have to be more careful when using the pin to push the wings into place. So we'll loosen the wings a bit, put in the pin, use the glass to spread the wings, and then use the pin to nudge the wings into place. These moths also have a lot of wing scales that like to rub off, so try to avoid sliding the glass around on the wings. This is one of my favorite moths. I think they're so pretty, and I think a lot of people would agree with me. The colors are just fantastic. For this monarch, I'm going to do something a little different and pin it verso, meaning that the underside of the butterfly's wings will be on top when I pin it. Some people find this method of pinning easier, so try this if you're struggling with wing spreading. Again, we're going to loosen the wings a little bit, but this time we'll insert the pin into the underside of its body, being very careful not to puncture the wings as the pin comes through the other side. Now use the forceps to spread the wings as we place the butterfly onto the spreading board.
Now that I have all three of these insects pinned with their wings spread, I'll leave them dry overnight. The next day we can start unpinning them from the board. This part is pretty self-explanatory. Just start carefully removing the pins, except for the one that goes through its body, and remove the glass as well. Now your moths and butterflies are ready to be displayed. Pinning butterflies and moths may seem daunting at first, but through practice and experience, you'll get better over time. If you think there's something I missed, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you for watching.